Welcome once again to CCTV America's week-long look at alternative energy. This week, we're exploring the emerging technologies that proponents say are the key to our global energy future. In this installment, we are looking at biogas. Like solar and wind, biogas is a renewable energy source found all over the world. But what exactly is it? Without getting too technical, biogas is a mixture of gases that is produced when you break down organic matter. That can include raw materials such as sewage, municipal waste, plants and crops. It can be used as a fuel for any heating purpose worldwide. It can also be used in gas engines and when processed a certain way can power vehicles. The market for biogas is relatively small but growing. According to estimates cited by renewable energy firm Biogas Equity, biogas could meet up to 3% of North America's energy demand. That is, if it's effectively collected and processed. To find an example of the biogas process in action, we turn our attention to San Jose in California. The city recently opened the biggest dry fermentation anaerobic digestion facility in the world. Quite a mouthful. That's a lot of technical words, so what does that mean? Mark New explains. It's really amazing all the stuff they put on it. In the iconic movie Back to the Future 2, this time-traveling car gained its power by processed food waste. Decades later, that principle is in action, but on an even larger scale. San Jose businesses are sorting their food waste, having it loaded up, and then delivering it to a processing facility that's nearly twice the size of an American football field. This is definitely a one-of-a-kind facility, using a cutting-edge technology to get, meet both our renewable energy needs and uh, process our waste so it doesn't go to landfill. In the facility are 16 digesters like this one. Each one can hold 300 tons of waste. It'll take about 28 days for that waste to be turned into biogas. Over a year's time, 90,000 tons of waste will be processed at this facility. The facility has licensed a German technology to harness the natural process of anaerobic digestion. But here it's being used on a larger scale than anywhere in the world. The goal of our companies is to close the loop on resource recovery operations. So we're taking what people one day considered as waste, we're looking at that as a resource and we're extracting as much of a resource value out of that as possible. The biogas produced will be used to power the facility itself and more like provide the power that allows a company to turn demolition debris into landscape products such as compost. The hope is that someday even the fleet of trucks delivering the food scraps will be running off waste produced energy. You know, recycling, uh, waste processing has value if done correctly and uh, no one figures it out until they go do it. Uh, you can talk about it, you can run spreadsheets, you can theorize about it, but once you do it that's when you start to learn and that's when you start to make money. This facility, 90,000 tons a year, is already sold out. So when it opens up, the material comes in. That seemingly insatiable appetite already has project leaders working on expansion plans that would allow the facility to triple the amount of waste it can digest. Mark New, CCTV, San Jose.